just a couple more and maybe we'll go into the hard stuff but um, for now we're going to talk aguaje so this is the point okay that I'm making I think maybe on my uh, channel a lot to talk about aguaje and people are like what is this so have a look at the spelling um, aguaje um, it is a uh, very very essential plant I uh, definitely feel it so I have very low estrogen being uh, an androgynous person has been a difficult path uh, but it is an interesting system of self-belief and trust so never mind Agua here for troubled women and teens if you want to develop your body more perfectly maybe that's not the point it's just basically about getting yourself psychologically and psychically more connected and conscious agua here is a very curious fruit have a look at how it grows it looks like a dinosaur egg it looks like an egg with a uh, kind of like dinosaur scales yeah very cool yeah it has a very special type of uh, slug uh, grub that grows uh, and eats it and it's called suri so it has a very special grub and yes the locals eat it too but don't eat the grub uh, it's bad for you get this aguaje aguaje is a yellow fruit it has a stone inside it grows in watery places and it also comes from a palm and as you have seen on my saw palmetto video I talk about palms and everything that comes from palms and usually what comes out of palms uh, is very elongated and it is very elegant so if you want to be an elegant person palm hearts as well palm hearts aside um, most things that come from palm are very brilliant very good looking very sexy very nice and very ergonomic but they're still there is a stillness to a palm and that includes uh, palm oil also, to a degree. Sorry, guys. Uh, also includes, uh, I'm just talking about the product here. Yeah, but not, yeah. Uh, also, uh, certain palm trees like um, so palmetto also comes from a palm. And also uh, coconuts, obviously. Coconuts. So um, palm-based products are naturally very neutral. Palm fiber. If you ever have something made out of coconut tree or palm, it just per it's not, it emits a frequency and it is just naturally lovely. So people that eat a lot of aguaje, despite the estrogen content and it giving you boobs and a butt and the body that sometimes, yeah, it gets marketed for that. It give, gives, you, gives you that body. You know, I get the small waist, the big hips, you know, good behind the point though. So um, the point is not to look like a supermodel Kardashian, although yes, some women get really good, some women, some body types and maybe some genetic groups. If you know the palms well, if you know your body very well, if you're a sports woman, this is going to be great. So this is very good for me if you're an active person, if you want to develop. Also, if you have a culture, not necessarily a culture, a certain type of strand of energy, certain type of uh, maybe bacteria or something, some people absorb it a lot better than others. So if you get a lot of aguaje in your cupboard, it does not guarantee that you will look like a Kardashian. It does not guarantee it. But you will definitely start to go that way. It's just whether or not you keep your results and keep on building on it depends on your womanly ways and basically your curves naturally and what your bones are, your bone structure. So you don't just get plush you don't just get like say um, don't brainwash yourself with that stuff you don't just get the plastic surgery result with a gua here though a lot of people can this depends so before going under the knife fantastic you're a woman you don't love yourself very much if you're one of those ladies thinking going under the knife consider a gua here first okay anyway so a little bit more about this um, it makes you very smooth it wants to control you though it's a very motherly plant you can't say this you can't do that you can't talk a lot you can't be there uh, this person no it makes it's like a mother it makes you feel neutral about things that you don't like it makes you feel very amazed about things that you do so personality type awesome if you have a certain type of critique of yourself if you're constantly busy if you don't know who you are if you don't know how women look at you if you don't like anybody if nobody like you aguaje makes you not so emotional or neurotic so talked about trifula tribulus for men aguaje for women so definitely aguaje doesn't really care about you later oh you gotta see this okay so for example i'm 37 i started taking this in 36 
I got a very nice, lovely result. I got beautiful skin. My body became smooth. I also took collagen and other supplements. It made me very nice. You take vitamin C, extra orange juice, extra water. You look like a queen. You don't even have to do anything. Makeup, forget it. This is fantastic. But you see, if I took it any longer, any further, for example, if I keep on taking it through and into, say, 37, okay, all right? You have to stop here. You don't need to have this all the time. Now see what the local cultures do, the local people. Firstly, they eat it with salt. And if you look at video one, I talk about salt and how shitty it is for your stomach and how it um, takes everything away and you don't uh, alkalize or balance things enough. So salt, they usually eat it with salt. Don't eat it with salt. But if you like it, okay, fine. It just doesn't have the same effect. Eat it, just boil it a little bit usually. Um, don't put salt in this. If you're, if you're a local also listening to me, why would you? But, you know, um, older women love it and they swear by it. So people swear for it for libido, for masking certain uh, issues, for getting smooth and quiet and calm, for balancing the female hormones, female body. And they say this is what you should take at the end. So after you um, hit a certain point and you're walking into... Um, you know, this, this part of uh, what, menopause, you know, after menopause, a lot of women eat it. So a lot of women that are really into it and they're pr producing this, they're marketing this on the street, like they get the little dinosaur egg and they're peeling it and they're selling it to the younger, older women. You have to be very careful with those women because they don't have it here. So that's it. You can only take certain things in a certain time of your life. So I've never taken a guaje in my life. 37 is, you don't need it. 20, fine. You are a 20-year-old woman. You've already developed. You already have your breasts, your butt. You know, you're behind. You already have your mind, mind state. You already maybe also produced a, a child or maybe you're thinking to. Um, also, don't make babies and eat this at the same time. This is before or after child, childbirth, child rearing. So maybe you already had your baby. Better. This. Awesome. You're already mature enough. Or you haven't had your baby, but make sure that you don't take this while you are trying to conceive. Because this, like Mecca, is toxic as hell for your child. Don't eat the little dinosaur egg freaking aguaje if you try to conceive. Even if people tell you, ah, it's good for all women things, it's not. So if you already had your baby, you're like 20, 21. Some people do. Okay, have this on tap every day. Chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it. You will, chew, you will chew yourself into a goddess. You will be like the best looking girl in town. If you chew this after a certain age, in a certain uh, window of your life, say for example, okay, I'm 24. I don't have anybody. I already had a kid. I've broken up with my ex and now I have nobody. I have nobody to please. I can do anything. I can paint my nails all day, I can lay in a bath, I can sit down with somebody, I can play chess, or I don't know, play frisbee with someone. Not too much action though. This is very controlled. For some people, it depends. If you're working out, also if you want to get the result, keep the result, yeah, it depends. It depends on you. If you're comfortable with the exercise, it's not too bad. But like a lot of women that eat this naturally, just sit down and peel their guaje, tend to their children and go home and go to, they, they're not very active, especially in the jungle, jungle women. They cook and clean, but they don't really go out um, that much. So that's the thing. So, okay, you're keeping it simple. So 24, 25, 26, you are on the stuff, chewing it all day, every day. You don't have anybody to please. You don't have anybody to to be a carer to because it makes you, like, think that you're a mother to somebody and you shouldn't be. It makes you a little bit crazy. If you're a single lady, and, uh, honestly, in a certain age group, this makes you feel like you're the muse to everybody, like everybody want to have you. Uh, it makes a huge ego. Estrogen makes you feel like you're the goddess and you're the best deal. So, okay, for example, you have a nail salon. Perfect. I'm the best deal. I'm the best deal in town. I'm the best one. So competitive female cultures feeling like a product. Here we are again, coming back to the roots of civilizations. Don't be that. But okay, women that really want to, okay, talking about ginger, ginger compatible product with aguaje. Also, maca, have a look at what I say about that. So, uh, okay, ginger. Ginger makes you really cute and good looking and nice and hospitable to a certain type of person. And uh, it's a great uh, food for parties, great supplement for, for care, taking care of other people. Aguaje makes you hot. Aguaje is like, ah, the tigress is out. But she doesn't want to play with anybody. She's just like, I just want to tell you that I'm the most beautiful woman in the neighborhood and I've got the best deals. And then that's it, that's it. It doesn't have anything else. 
Now, if I produce more uh, videos, for example, if I make more of that which I have, I'm going to get pretty good. If I eat a lot of this, if I eat a lot of this and I make a lot of videos, great. If I want to go and do something different, I can't because it makes a certain type of timeline. This is a very esoteric thing. Uh, it makes a feminine timeline. You go around in a loop, in a loop, in a loop, and you feel like you could be left behind. Feminine karma as well, collective feminine. So this, if you are pregnant, don't take this. You get afraid that you're not good looking, that your child is better than you. You can destroy mother-child relationship if you take this before conceiving or while you are with child because it starts to compete with you or you start to compete with it so don't take this if you have a lot of children in your house and you're constantly eating this you can become um, very open with them but they won't mean anything you are ready to conceive with another man so for example you have an ex and you have a child to an ex you want to be open to another person great this is it but don't take it a lot it can destroy or put together a family has a very interesting psychology child to mother psychology goes you are the prowling woman Agua here makes you feel like anything's possible and that you're so hot right now. But you see, if you're taking it after a certain age, now we go into death and decay. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, it got really dark. Uh, okay, so 40, don't touch it. Feeling like you're the tigress and the prowler, can have anybody here, I'm the best deal. Now, it makes you short circuit here. You shouldn't have these feelings, you're not of um, necessarily... I'm not putting you down. Breeding age, you're not in your prime. It's not about being in, in the prime. Your body doesn't produce the same chemicals naturally. You've got to stop. It makes you feel big. And it could make you large. And also a lot of estrogen production at a certain time in your life. You just don't have to have it. For example, what do you want? You know, people that eat a lot of aguaje, I actually do as well. So it's like they're like, hey. And then you're like, what? Hey. It's like, what do you want? It's like, hmm. Sometimes they get intrusive and they want to sell you stuff. And sometimes Agua is probably like one of the best tools for marketers. So um, after eating it for about a year and a half, I really have to let go. Uh, so I never had this tool in my toolkit before. And I definitely have to say, in a younger woman's body, in a younger woman's timeline, it is a good biological tool to help yourself feel awesome. Awesome about yourself, your skin, your hair, your life. Great about anything and all that hurt and pain from the other guy from the other person goes it leaves it leaves but that is not for you if you've already like say had your children and you're still with your partner and you want to perfect that relationship because it changes you unless you also take something extreme like trifolis or i don't know other biological hacks like ginseng so you have to both biohack and start life again computer games okay uh, all of that destroys uh, you usually uh, with a guahi can do anything your body wants to do whatever it wants even if you're in the trap even if you're sitting indoors and can't leave the house this will make you feel like a queen no matter what it makes you feel very concise and polite and thankful for whatever life has made and then your organs and your body tissues like yummy wow they're really yummy and it's really good for child production but take a break about four or five months before you conceive otherwise you could be a bitch to your child so high estrogen energy sometimes be becomes bitchy and competitive with his own children don't make that your notion. So children sometimes in Aguahe don't mix. If your body really, really wants children on Aguahe, uh, I do understand and sometimes you will conceive, but don't make that your choice because it's just not a real thing. And sure, a lot of people take them uh, these fruits later in years, like in their 50s, but that makes a left behind woman. Uh, energetically because like all that estrogen production without certain other chemicals um, that we make in our prime it, it just doesn't work it doesn't mix older women taking it for menopause does not work so don't do it for menopause do it only when you are in your prime and if you don't have children or if you do have children but you're ready to make a new family and a relationship with another guy and yeah you, you know you've got to move on so this really depends uh, on your situation it's a very hard it's a very hard yard uh, yeah this one